good morning. Welcome back to another video from Menip Cycling. If you don't know already, my name's Pete, and today I'm joined by one of my good friends, Josh, and we're attempting to do back-to-back 100-mile -back rides with a loop of the Cotswolds. We've started at Bath Spa train station, and the idea is to stop at Chipping Norton tonight where we've booked a hotel, and it's 163 kilometers away. And then tomorrow, we're gonna ride from Chipping Norton back to Bath Spa, which is 161 kilometers. Both of us have done some long rides in the past, but neither of us have ever done 100 miles followed by 100 miles. So it's gonna be a real challenge, but we think we can do it. It's just a little bit cold, isn't it, Josh? Yeah, just a bit chilly. It's freezing. Got all the layers on. October was not the best time to attempt something like this. Well. But with the UK, looks like it's heading back into another national lockdown. It might be the last opportunity we get for a while, so we thought we'd give it a go. of Strava and Kamut so Josh used Strava to make a basic route and then I put the route into Kamut and selected a few highlights for us to go through but Kamut's saying this route is 1700 meters of climbing but that's probably gonna be more like 2000 meters and we've just been talking how we're struggling the gradient's not big it's one or two percent on this road but the wind is battering us and it's making it hard work heart rates through the roof and we're meant to be trying to keep the heart rate low but it's tough going at the moment but I'll put the route elevation profile on the screen and you can see how lumpy it is predominantly it's uphill for most of the day so it's 1700 meters of up but only 1500 meters of descending so we do gain an extra 200 meters of elevation over the day but that does mean tomorrow is predominantly downhill finding the wind so far it's uh yeah it's difficult so, yeah as has been said the gradient isn't so bad but the wind is hard work we're really pushing and we're only doing 23k an hour <laughs> so it just goes to tell really oh it's a slow going start <laughs> these roads been so far? Amazing, absolutely amazing. The Cotswolds are just stunning. Look at these autumnal colours. Yeah. Yellows, Cotswolds. greens, oranges, reds. So, so good. beautiful villages and all Josh can say is money <laughs> they're just outrageously good houses at every turn we're only a little bit jealous aren't we yeah just a bit
getting better and better, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely, absolutely lovely. Oh, first time this year, full length gloves. <laughs> but it's chilly. Long jersey, haven't quite made it to the Defumal bib shorts, but we're getting there. We're holding out on summer, aren't we? A little bit. Yeah, holding out on summer. Woo! Look at that view. So we just did that last piece to camera coming up that hill and Josh said is that a man on a bike in a field and I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up but there is a guy just down there making his way across the field on his bike good effort I see that's off that's off roading that is yeah. we're just making our way along another gorgeous little lane We've done 93k with 1400 meters of climbing. We've got a cafe coming up at about 108k. So we're gonna have a hot chocolate and grab some lunch there. But we've broken the back of it now. Headwind's still killing us, but we're getting there. 68k to go. 68k of day one. We still got day two to go. We'll get there. saying earlier Josh about how nice the houses are yeah they're all right yeah they people around here they they've got nice gaps nice and then gaps. we've uh, just come around the corner and seen this look at that should be ecstatic with a 10k descent but it is so cold I've got a base layer long sleeve jersey insulated gilet jacket and a raincoat gloves and a neck buff it's freezing we know it's October but this is cold this is not gonna be fun is it oh it's so cold <laughs> I'm wearing the gilet on top of the raincoat Trying back to back 100 mile rides in October was uh, was ambitious, I think. Not our cleverest moment. No, not the smartest thing we've ever done. Josh's wheel for the last four or five K. And absolutely flying. Flying on a really lovely road. climb of the day. I said earlier the route is meant to be 1700 meters of climbing. We've done 1850 so I really hope this is the last climb of the day. It's got really dark all of a sudden. We've got our front lights on. I can confirm that that wasn't the last climb of the day because we're climbing again. 
Josh has just said that was 15%. The sun is setting in front of us. It feels so late, <laughs> but it really isn't. It's like half five, or quarter past five. Again. We made it. Made it. 161.1 Ks later, 2,243 meters of climbing. And the legs, uh, the legs can feel it. Mate, I'm cooked. <laughs> I'm absolutely cooked. And uh, we've got to do it all again tomorrow. Yeah, but it's all downhill. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I hope so anyway. But stage one of the challenge is complete. If you've enjoyed today's video, please give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And leave us a comment for Josh and I to read through because we really enjoy looking at your comments. And tune in in a couple of days time for part two when we make our way back to Bath. Thanks for watching. Fancy a beer? Yeah. Yeah, let's a get couple. a beer. Couple, couple of beers. Yeah. Yeah.